Hi, I'm Karen Barton, and I'm here with Cynthia Edwards from Cherokee Ranch and Castle. And Cynthia, introduce yourself to us and tell us a little bit about your Farm to Table events. So my name is Cynthia Edwards, and I'm the Education and Cultural Events Manager here at Cherokee Ranch and Castle. I feel like it's both a privilege and an honor to work here, uh, working towards always restoring Tweet's legacy and holding on to it, and then also introducing new programming, bringing in new markets, the Farm to Table series is one way that we do both. We have a lot of property here that at one time was gardens and we have a cattle operation and ultimately it would be my goal to have a Farm to Table series that introduces what we produce here on the property. So that sounds very interesting. So tell me a little bit about the Farm and Table. Sure. So Farm to Table right now is a catchphrase out there, especially in Colorado. Our, our local economy is very prideful and there are a lot of ranchers and farmers and then local producers of um, vegetables and fruits um, from the western slope where the peaches grow to the eastern plains with the wheats and then the north and the south. Um, I feel like the castle here provides an opportunity to be a local hub that brings everyone together including the restaurant owners in Denver and some of the state politicians so that we can start the conversation about what we need to do going forward for sustainable agriculture and sustainable land management. So you talk about sustainability and how uh, it's such a catchphrase with the farm to table. Why do you want to do that here more specifically? Yeah, I think we've got the um, opportunity here to be a venue to not just hold one-off events that we could actually do this ongoing for signature events like our weddings or our private um, parties, our corporate parties, and then most of our events that we carry out through the year could use some piece of local food production instead of outsourcing it outside of the state lines. Excellent. And you mentioned that um, previously there was some gardening done here um, mm -hmm. for the farm to table originally. Um, do you see that again going forward with your event? Yeah, that's our hope, is to restore Wahachi Farms, which was down across from Sedalia. And then we have a cattle operation here, about 170 heads of cattle right now. Um, and then I think if we can restore the gardens and some orchards and then greenhouses and then restore the buildings as well so that we could continue to produce local food, that would be the ultimate goal. Nice. And do you have any farm-to-table events coming up? I do. I have one on December 19th. Um, I put it close to the holidays as I thought that some of the families that are in the Colorado would be bringing in their family members and outside of the night of Christmas Eve be able to have a great experience here at the castle. It will be elegant. We're revitalizing the grand piano that's been in storage for more than a decade and we'll have a grand pianist here. We'll also have some special um, other items such as local artists will be bringing in their artwork. Um, our musician is local, and then we will also have a chance to win a seven-day trip to Italy wow. to um, be able to experience a local and farm-to-table experience in Italy. Very nice. So how would people register for this event? They can go on our website. It's CherokeeRanch.org. It's under special events. And uh, this, I think this is just a really unique event. It will happen just this one time. Next year we'll open up new farm-to-table experiences, but this will be the most elegant. Well, thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate your information and your time and wish you well with the farm-to-table. Thank you very much, Karen.